Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. Thank you for watching and clicking on my video. If you don't know, I am Star. If you already know, hey, girl, I missed you, girl. The message God gave me is somebody is obsessively, obsessively stalking you. I feel like this person is obsessively stalking somebody's social media. This person is stalking you. And you're not even around this person. You're not talking to this person. You may or may not even know this person. This person, and it's not in a, it's not in a, a nice way. It's not in a supporting you way. This person is stalking you. They are obsessed with you. They have absolutely gone bonkers. They are crazy, and they are obsessively stalking you. Okay, um, the bookmark says the sun shines brighter and the flowers smell better just because I thought of you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The scripture God gave me comes from Psalm 110. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion saying, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your troops will be willing. On your day of battle, arrayed in holy splendor, your young men will come to you like dew from the morning's womb. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever. In the order of Melchizedek, the Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings on the day of his wrath. He will judge the nations, heaping up the dead and crushing the rulers of the whole earth. He will drink from a brook along the way, and so he will lift his head high. So, you know, as I have said already before, this is not something where you have to worry about this. You don't have to seek out to figure out who this person is. God is going to handle this person. But God is just letting you know this person is obsessively stalking you. And I feel like this is also a warning to be careful. While God is not going to allow this person to hurt you, you have to be careful because this person is stalking you to a ridiculous, like it is obsessive. And I don't even know if it's like, it could be a predator type thing like this. I, I feel that coming on, it could be like a man that is like, wants you so bad. Or it could even be a man that feel like he could just have everything and anything and anybody. And the fact that you don't want them. It, it just boils their blood. It, it, it's a Jezebel spirit. That's, it's a Jezebel spirit on them that is causing them to be obsessed with you because how dare you not be interested in them? That Jezebel spirit is trying to pull you in. It's trying to um, monitor your moves. It's trying to watch you in such a way to figure out what do I got to do to get this person to be attracted to me? What do I got to do to get this person back? I hear. What do I got to do to have this person under my thumb, under my control? This person has just got to be a part of my collection for somebody. This person is crazy, crazy, crazily obsessed with you. Crazily obsessed with trying to figure you out. Crazily obsessed with trying to, it's just weird. I feel this weird energy. And, you know, I even feel like it could also be somebody of the same sex trying to figure out why you are not, why they aren't like you or why, how they can be like you or trying to copy you, trying to copy your mannerisms, trying to pretend like they are, they are obsessed, obsessed. And it might even be a couple where somebody is interested in you and their uh, spouse is trying to figure out how they can behave like you so that they can get their person back uh, on them. But in reality, they can never be you. It's nothing they can do to be you. It's nothing they can do to get your anointing. It's nothing they can do to get your light. They can wear all like, I hear all the pink they want to. They could try to uh, be as much like you as they want to. They could even put on the same clothes that you wear and they will never be you. Ever, ever, ever. It doesn't matter. If you are you and they are them. And it is not your fault that their person wants you. And even, I feel like even out of respect for them, you not only turned this person down, but completely removed yourself from the situation. And these people are still obsessively stalking you, still talking about you, still worried about you, still concerned about you, about everything about you, everything you're doing, 
They, they, it's like they are, I hear, like a predator. Seriously. Seriously. Sick in the head. Seriously. I even hear in some cases the spouse feel like if they just can let their spouse be with you once, maybe they could get over it. They are sick. Twisted in the head. Sick in the mind. Disgusting. Disgusting. I'm being reminded of this dream I had, y'all. This dream, it, it really bothered me. I had a dream that somebody had tried to abuse me. And then, uh, I'm trying to think of a way to say it where, and take me out of here. Like they wanted to abuse me and then dispose of me and call it a day. These people are sick, twisted, and disgusting. And God is going to handle them. God says they are going to be a footstool for your feet. Regardless to what they think they're going to do, that's what they're going to be a footstool to your feet. Um, God is going to come for them. The Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings on the day of his wrath. He is going to seek out wrath against these nasty people. Because they have allowed this Jezebel spirit to take over their mind. They have allowed their flesh to it completely, the, the mind is gone. It's gone. It has disappeared. It has went poof into the sky. They don't even, they can't even think straight anymore. They can't even focus on what they need to focus on anymore because they so concerned about you and what you doing and trying to figure out how they can get you there. Trying to figure out how they can do this to you. They want to destroy you. And it is all because of this person's lust for you. It is absolutely disgusting. It is perverted. And they need help. They need serious counseling. It is sick. And that is the message. You know, to be weary that there is somebody that is obsessively stalking you. They are obsessed with trying to figure out how they can get to you. They are obsessed with trying to figure out how they can destroy you. Obsessed with trying to figure out how they can get their hands on you. They are sick in the mind and they really need professional help. I can't say that enough. They need professional help. And, you know, if you know who this person is, if the person is coming to mind as this video is going on, you need to ensure that if you ever see this person anywhere near you or around where you are, especially if you didn't move far away, call the police immediately. They are sick. Sick. They need help. Some people, they don't understand that no means no. They don't understand that you are not interested. They refuse to believe that their, their charms did not work on you. They refuse to believe that you don't care about how much money they got, whatever they offering to you. You don't care. You're not interested. And you know that God will provide for you beyond whatever they talking about. You see through their lies and their nonsense and you are not trying to hear it. You are not interested. Okay. Heavenly Father, I don't know who this is for, but I pray that you will send your angels to cover them, Lord. I pray that you will shield them from whoever this sick person is, Lord. I pray that you will keep them protected. I pray that you will keep your word as I know you will and make their enemies their footstools, Lord. I 
I pray for you. I pray for you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over wherever you are. I plead the blood of Jesus over your house, over the people that surround you. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life and over everything that you are trying to do and what God is trying to do for you. And I cast whatever evil spirit is causing these people to obsessively stalk you to the pits of hell where it came from. In Jesus' name, I pray. I pray, I pray, I pray. I love you guys. I love you guys with all my heart and know that I will keep you in my prayers and I'll see you on the next video. Deuces.